Yo, you heard about the drones here in New Jersey? Crop rows here, look what's going on here. I think it might be the drones. I'm kidding, seriously, it was just me riding my quad. But when it comes to audio editing here in DaVinci Resolve, what kind of speakers or headphones or earbuds that you use to edit your audio is gonna make a big difference in what that audio sounds like. Now, it may not be a huge difference, but it's gonna be a difference and that's what I'm gonna show you in today's video. I'm gonna go through and edit this audio right here, right now, and I'm gonna do it on several different kinds of headphones so you can see the difference or hear the difference. I'm not gonna show you the ins and outs of the whole process. I'll just speed through that little time-lapse style, but I want you to hear the difference when I use different kinds of headphones. So I'll tell you what kind of headphones I'm using and then you'll, I'll play it for you and you can hear what it sounds like. I'm also gonna provide this file for you guys so that way you can use it, edit on your headphones and see how it sounds different than, you know, the way I edit it with the particular headphones that I'm using. So let's jump back in the studio. Uh, yet no drones coming after me here. Seriously, just four wheeler trails here from me. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna get back in there and uh, let's get some headphones out and edit this audio. Let's go. Jumping back down into the studio here, that first bit of audio that you heard in the beginning of this video was edited using these guys. These are the Barodynamic DT770 Pros. And these are my go-to headphones that I typically use for pretty much all of my audio editing work. These, along with speakers that I have on either side of my monitor, they're Mackie speakers. I'll use those if I don't feel like wearing my headphones, but if I wanna check some things and really hear the details, these are my go-to. Now, when it comes to all of these edits that we're gonna be doing here, we're gonna go through different types of headphones. I'm gonna speed through the edit, but I'm gonna play you the results. And I'm gonna just be using some basic tools here in DaVinci Resolve. I've already set the levels for this clip. And if you wanna do this too, download the file, you can follow along as well, or try it out yourself. I'm also gonna be using a little bit of EQ, a little bit of dynamics, a multi-band compressor, and a de-esser. So with those couple of things, I feel like I gotta sneeze. I hate when that happens when you're trying to film. But anyway, the next set of headphones that we're going to be using here are these guys. These are the Samson SR990s. So I'm going to be using these. I'm going to go through the same audio clip here, same one that you guys can download. I'm going to edit it using these headphones, and then we're going to hear how it changes. And then we'll move on to the next set of headphones. So let's jump and resolve, and uh, let me edit up this audio for you. All right, so there we go. That is with the Samsung SR990s. Here's what that sounds like uh, after I've gone through and edited it. And I do notice a difference. I mean, it sounds different. This sounds like it has a little more low end built into the headphones versus the Bear Dynamics that I'm typically using. So each one of these are going to have a little bit of, uh, you know, differences in what I hear, right? And that's why my edits are going to be slightly different. What kind of speakers or headphones or earbuds that you use to edit your audio is going to make a big difference in what that audio sounds like. Now, it may not be a huge difference, but it's gonna be a difference and that's what I'm gonna show you in today's video. I'm gonna go through and edit this audio right here, right now, and I'm gonna do it on several different kinds of headphones so you can see the difference or hear the difference. All right, the next pair of headphones we have here are the Sennheiser HD 280 Pros. These are great headphones. I use these when I'm mixing uh, at my church for the band there because this is what they had there. This is a great set of uh, Sennheiser headphones. What I really like about these is they really isolate your ears really well so you don't hear other things go going on. Uh, these are closed back. Uh, same with the other two headphones that we were, looked at already. They're both closed back. So let me throw this on and uh, we're, I'm going to go ahead and do another edit with these guys and then I'll play that for you and you can see what that sounds like. Here we go. Okay, so here, let me play it for you with the edit from the HD 280 Pros. Now, I did notice between the Samson and these these just seem way easier to hear the changes that I'm making. There's a lot less uh, low end, and it's a little bit clearer in my ears just from the get-go, right from the start. So that's a, no a thing that I noticed between the two different headphones here because uh, this is a little bit of an experiment for me too and uh, just seeing how different headphones respond to the clip that we have here. So let me go ahead and roll that. Here's with the HD 280 Pros. What kind of speakers or headphones or earbuds that you use to edit your audio is gonna make a big difference in what that audio sounds like. Now, it may not be a huge difference, but it's gonna be a difference and that's what I'm gonna show you in today's video. I'm gonna go through and edit this audio right here, right now, and I'm gonna do it on several different kinds of headphones so you can see the difference or hear the difference. The next set of headphones we're gonna to use to go through and edit this audio is a pair of Mackie headphones. These are the Mackie MC100. 
I've got these for a while here. I did use them on and off for a little while, testing them out. But let's go ahead and throw these on. I'm going to edit the audio, and then we'll play it through there. Now, if you guys have comments and thoughts on the differences between these, let me know. Drop a comment down below. And then at the end, I'm actually going to splice all these together. Uh, so it just runs through the whole thing once, and then I'll cut between the different angles. So then you can hear what that sounds like. Uh, so if you want to check that out, you can jump to the end. I'll timestamp it. But for now, I'm going to get in and edit with the Mackies here. What kind of speakers or headphones or earbuds that you use to edit your audio is gonna make a big difference in what that audio sounds like. Now, it may not be a huge difference, but it's gonna be a difference, and that's what I'm gonna show you in today's video. I'm gonna go through and edit this audio right here, right now, and I'm gonna do it on several different kinds of headphones so you can see the difference or hear the difference. All right, so we just finished up with the Mackies. Now, it definitely, from headphones to headphones, I can notice a, a, a very, a uh, big difference in what it sounds like right off the bat. So I'm curious to throw on everything at the end here and also hear it on how they all sound editing just on different headphones. So let's get our next set of headphones up and they are going to be these guys. These are little headphones here. These guys are smaller than the other ones I've been using. They are Sennheisers. The model is the HD25, Sennheiser HD25s. So these are, um, I, I've tried using these for a length of time, but uh, for me, I mean, the, the ear pads are a little small. I like the, the cups over the ears all the way, but um, these still do a decent job. And if I want to be able to just pop them on, pop them off, check stuff, what's cool is these kind of move a little bit. Um, you know, these come in handy, but let's go ahead. I'm going to swap out my uh, Mackies with these guys and let's go ahead and edit these. And then I'll show you how it sounds with the edit from these guys. All right, here is the edit with the uh, Sennheiser HD25s. And I have to say, I noticed that these have a lot more crisp high ends. The highs are very crisp, um, which almost made me, uh, well, which did make me adjust the de-esser a little bit um, and maybe bump out a little bit of the, the highs and the EQ there. But uh, here's what it sounds like editing on the HD25s. Check it out, and then we'll be back with the next set of headphones. What kind of speakers or headphones or earbuds that you use to edit your audio is gonna make a big difference in what that audio sounds like. Now, it may not be a huge difference, but it's gonna be a difference, and that's what I'm gonna show you in today's video. I'm gonna go through and edit this audio right here, right now, and I'm gonna do it on several different kinds of headphones so you can see the difference or hear the difference. Up next, we're gonna be editing using these guys. These are Sandware Sand Sound earbuds. Now, these things do sound great for spatial audio, for music. Uh, I've been testing them out for a while here. Uh, DL and the guys who made these, they sound great, and uh, I'm really curious to edit audio on them, though, because I haven't edited any audio yet. I've just been listening to a lot of stuff between movies and music and uh, you know YouTube and all kinds of stuff. So let's uh, go ahead and edit with these guys with the earbuds and uh, then I'm gonna play that for you and you can hear what that sounds like once we're done. So here we go. All right, so we're done editing here with the Sandware earbuds here, and um, I'm going to go ahead and play that for you now, and you can hear what that sounds like. What kind of speakers or headphones or earbuds that you use to edit your audio is going to make a big difference in what that audio sounds like? Now, it may not be a huge difference, but it's going to be a difference, and that's what I'm going to show you in today's video. I'm going to go through and edit this audio right here, right now, and I'm going to do it on several different kinds of headphones so you can see the difference or hear the difference. All right, lastly, we've got these guys, Apple AirPods. Most of you guys are going to know what these are. Little earbuds. We're going to hook this up to the computer. Bluetooth, the last set was Bluetooth as well. I'm going to go through, edit it, and uh, then I'm going to play that for you. You can see what it sounds like when I edit using Apple AirPods. All right, the edit is done with the Apple AirPods here. Throw them back in my little do not judge me case. And uh, while I'm doing that, I'm going to go ahead and play through this clip, and you guys can hear what they sound like when you edit using Apple AirPod Pros. What kind of speakers or headphones or earbuds that you use to edit your audio is going to make a big difference in what that audio sounds like? Now, it may not be a huge difference, but it's going to be a difference, and that's what I'm going to show you in today's video. I'm going to go through and edit this audio right here, right now, and I'm going to do it on several different kinds of headphones so you can see the difference or hear the difference. So what do you think? We tried seven different headphones, and they all gave us slightly different edits. Now, did you guys notice a difference? Do you think it's 
worth it on one headphone versus another. Uh, I can tell you from my side that there's differences that you can hear as soon as you put on another pair of headphones, especially when you try them back to back. Now, if you only have one pair, it doesn't matter so much. You're, you're going to get a feel for what those headphones sound like, the edits that you need to make, and then, you know, you may listen to it on another device after you, say, post it on YouTube, for example, and, uh, you know, you'll know what kind of setup you want. Now, I find if I was to go back and forth between a lot of different headphones often, I think that might be a challenge for me because the way they sound is all a little bit different, right? Some have a little more low end, some have a little more high end, some have the mid range a little bit higher, some uh, seem a little bit quieter like the AirPods. I had to actually turn up the volume on my computer just to hear it a little bit better. Now, I did look at my meters so that I knew I was in the right spot. But it's interesting just to kind of see how different headphones respond to the same clip of audio a little bit differently. And that's where, you know, each manufacturer just kind of does its own thing to make its headphones unique for them and gives them a sound profile, if you will, uh, that they want, right? So what do you guys think? Was there one that you liked better than the other? Was there one that, uh, you know, you think maybe you wouldn't use so much? Uh, do you like Bluetooth? Do you like wired headphones? Uh, what do you guys think? Curious to get your thoughts on, you know, the differences here that you guys might have noticed on your end of the screen. So as we wrap up here, I'm just going to go ahead and play through this entire clip, but I'm going to splice it up and I'm going to put the different audio edits in there just so you can hear a little bit of a difference there. See what you think, see how it sounds, and uh, I'm happy to hear any comments that you guys have. With that said, I will see you in the next video. Peace. Yo, you heard about the drones here in New Jersey? Crop rows here. Look what's going on here. I think it might be the drones. I'm kidding, seriously, it was just me riding my quad. But when it comes to audio editing here in DaVinci Resolve, what kind of speakers or headphones or earbuds that you use to edit your audio is gonna make a big difference in what that audio sounds like. Now, it may not be a huge difference, but it's gonna be a difference, and that's what I'm gonna show you in today's video. I'm gonna go through and edit this audio right here, right now, and I'm gonna do it on several different kinds of headphones so you can see the difference or hear the difference. I'm not gonna show you the ins and outs of the whole process. I'll just speed through that little time-lapse style, but I want you to hear the difference when I use different kinds of headphones. So I'll tell you what kind of headphones I'm using, and then you'll, I'll play it for you and you can hear what it sounds like. I'm also gonna provide this file for you guys so that way you can use it edit on your headphones and see how it sounds different than, you know, the way I edit it with the particular headphones that I'm using. So let's jump back in the studio. Uh, yet no drones coming after me here. Seriously, just four wheeler trails here from me. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna get back in there and uh, let's get some headphones out and edit this audio. Let's go.